Hello there, percussionists. This is Mrs. Tosh Morelli, and I'm here to help you with your bells. Specifically, I'm here to help you with the reading music of your bells, and then also, which hand to use. All right, so we've been using quarter notes. And quarter notes are the ones that look like they're colored in circles, and they have a stem. And we know from our rhythm studies that quarter notes get one beat each. When you put your quarter note circle part, that's the actual note part, when you put the circle up against the bottom line, almost like it's stuck kind of like gum to the bottom of a table, ew, disgusting, then you have a note that is a D and it matches the D on your bells. D, D. And this is the lowest D, the largest D that is on your bell kit. You're just going to play the regular D, not the D flat or the D sharp, just regular old D. And here you notice we have four D's, they are one beat each, like this. D, 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 D. Just as a review, here's your quarter rest. Each one of these is one beat of not playing. Now, these notes here are a little bit different. How are they different? Well, the circle part of the note is not touching the bottom line like these Ds. So these quarter notes are not Ds. These are the next lower note. You see they have a little line through them. I like to call that Captain Mustachio. The note that is one lower than D, here's your D, is C. So here you have four C's. You're going to play this with your left hand. You play the D's with your right hand and the C's with your left hand because the D key is on your right and the C key is on your left. So here's your four C's. C, 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 C. Over here you'll notice we have two D's and then two C's and that's not hard to play because you're using your right hand for D and your left hand for the C. So play along with me this whole line of music. Here we go. One, two, and ready and play. And D, 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 and rest, 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 rest. And C, 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 and rest. Get both mallets ready. Here you go. And D, D, C, C. Very nice and easy. Now just one note about your book. In your book sometimes you're playing the same letter over and over again like D's over and over again or C's over and over again for instance on page 7 and it's telling you to do right left right left. My rule is generally if you are playing the same letter name over and over again you can go ahead and use the same hand but once you change to a different letter you want to use a different hand. Looking at the second line of music here, we still have quarter notes, so they are still one beat each, but now we've moved the note so that it's below that C line, right? C had a little mustache. Now these guys are underneath of that little mustache line. They are wearing that mustache line as a hat. Also, they have this little thing over here that looks like a lowercase b. It's not a lowercase b. That is called a flat sign. So on your bells, you're not going to play regular B, which is this one. You're going to play B flat, which is this one. B flat is a tiny bit lower than the B, but it's not quite as low as A. So now we're looking at B flat. And for right this very second, as we play this one right here, you can use whichever hand you want to. You can use either all right hand for this or you can use all left hand for this. Just for right now. Here we go. One, two, 
B flat go. B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. I hit it four times. Here we have four rests. Now these right here, which letter are these? These aren't B flats because they're not wearing a hat. But we can look right above here and we can remind ourselves that these four notes with the mustache, these are going to be C's. That's right. Okay, so here you have four C's followed by four B flats. So hover your mallets over your bells and you'll notice that C is on the right and B flat is on the left, which means you are going to use your right hand for C and your left hand for B flat when you are here because we don't have a rest. So you're going to go right, 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 right on the C and left, 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 left on the B flat. We're going to start right here on these four C's followed by four B flats. One, two, and ready and play. And C, 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 B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. Right hand for C's, left hand for B flats for right now. Now we're going to come down here and we're going to make it really pretty hard because we have no rests in this whole line of music right here. But we have all three notes. Can you see the difference? The D's are stuck to the bottom line like disgusting gum. Do you know why I say disgusting? Because it starts with a D. And here we have Captain Mustachio. You know why I say Captain? Because it starts with a C. You'll notice that the C does not touch the line, but it's out here in outer space, kind of like the planet Saturn. And then these guys all over here are wearing a hat. Who wears a hat? B flat wears a hat. So for here, D is on your right and C is on your left. So you're going to start here with your right hand playing all of your Ds and your left hand playing all of your C's and now you're going to actually use your right hand for these B flats. You're going to switch, you're going to move your right hand at the same time as you playing your left hand C's. You're going to do two things at once. You're going to play right hand here with your left hand already on the C's. Then when it's time to play the left hand, you're going to play those four C's and at the same time move your right hand from D over to B flat so you can play those B flats. Okay, so let's practice that. Hover your mallets over top of D and C, D and C, and then move your right hand down to the B flat. Okay, go on back, set yourself over D and C. Here we go, we're going to play this line right here. Four Ds, four Cs, four B flats. One, two and D with your right hand. D, 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 play C, move your right hand and B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat. There you have that. Very good. All right, now we're going to look at a couple of different kind of notes here. We're going to look at these notes that are not colored in. And these notes that are not colored in are called half notes. Half notes are worth two beats each. Like this. D. You got to you got to kind of sing it in order f to understand. And you're counting in your head. 1 2 But you only play it once. D instead of D D. Those would be the quarter notes that we had up here. These are half notes. So this line of music right here, you're going to do the same sticking as you did up here. Right hand for D's, left hand for C's, right hand for B flats, moving your right hand at the same time as you play those C's. But we're not going to play quite as many notes because each one lasts for two beats. Okay, listen first as I play this line right here. Okay, here I go. One, two and ready here I go and D D C C B flat D 
flat. I did my right hand for my D's. I did my left hand for my C's. And while I was playing these, I moved my right hand so that I was ready for the B flats. You play with me. Here we go, right here with these half notes. One, two, and ready, D, right hand. D, D, left hand. C, C, right hand. B flat. D flat. Did you remember to say your letter names out loud as you played? I really hope so. These half notes get introduced in your book on page seven. On page seven. So you'll start seeing these guys on page seven. I'm pretty sure it's song number 11 on your book. Start seeing half notes. And we do sometimes combinations of half notes and quarter notes so that each measure, each box, adds up to four. Now on the bottom here, we're going to go a little bit ahead of what we're seeing in the book. These are called whole notes. I like to think of whole notes kind of like donuts, right? It's kind of like a circle with a hole in the middle. You can think about your favorite kind of donut. Some kids say it's kind of like a bagel, right? Now, which note is this? Is this your D, your C, or your B flat? Well, it's stuck to the bottom line, kind of like disgusting gum under a table, so this is going to be your D. But because it's a whole note with no stem and it's not colored in, whole notes are worth four beats like this. D. You kind of count to four in your head. You hit it once and then you kind of count to four in your head. It also helps if you sing it out loud. Let's do that again. Ready, hit a D. Go. D. Now you have a four beat D. Which one is this one here? Well, it's got a mustache sitting out there in outer space like Saturn. So you're right, that's a C. And then over here, we've got the hat. And we've got the flat, right over here, we've got your flat sign. So this is a B flat, B flat. So this line here is the same as that line there and the same as that line there, except you only hit each note once and let it last for four beats. This one is actually the easiest line on the whole page. Listen one time, play here, one, Two, and listen as I play. D, C, D flat. And that's it. Each note lasted for four beats. I counted to four in my head, and I sang it out loud. It's actually pretty important to sing these letters out loud as you're playing. So here we go. You're going to play along with me. This bottom line here with the whole notes. Okay, you're going to hit each note only once because there's only one circle for each one. Here we go. Start with your D and your C. Right hand over D, left hand over C. And then when it's time for the B flat, you're going to move your right hand and hit that with your right hand. So here we go. One, two, and D comes first. And D, C. Flat. I hope you remembered to use your left hand over the C and then move your right hand over to get that B flat. Everybody remember to practice every day for about 15 minutes. And you want to split your time between drums and bells. The most important thing on the bells is learning how to read the music and getting very familiar with reading the music so that you can look at your book or at the sheet of music that's in front of you and not look down at your hands. All right, everybody, practice every day, 15 to 20 minutes, and I'll see you at your next lesson.